Hello and welcome back to Star Stable. I'm not sure how this episode's gonna go because I've been having huge issues with lag ever since the birthday update last week and um, yeah it didn't work out that well when I was trying to record last weekend but hopefully this time turns out okay. We'll see. Um, I'm really excited because I think this is the last part of the uh, gondola lift building. I think it should be ready. I mean, uh, if you look over there, it's moving and everything. So hopefully it's ready and we can use it. That would be awesome. But uh, yes, let's let's get to it. Let's see if it's ready. Aha, the gondola lift is done. Completely amazing, right, Mira? Yes, it is. It's so amazing. <laughs> It all went super smoothly. Thank you, Mira. We couldn't have done it without you. Enter the gondola lift station and take a ride up to the observatory. Mario called and told me he wanted to thank you himself. Oh, I get a saddle. Yes, let's ride the gondola lift. Oh, how does this work? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. And we're up here. Um, Mario? Ah, oh, there you are. Hooray! Finally, I won't have to sit up there alone all winter. Thank you, Mira. I want you to have this here. It is a saddle for honeydew. I made it last winter when I had nothing to do for a few months. Please accept it as thanks for all your work in getting the gondola lift done. It is the least I can do. Here is some money for the ride down too. Hope we see you soon, Mira. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Let's take this quest while we're up here. Oh, we got two. Yo, must thank Foreman Olaf for me. Please let him know I'd love to have him up for a cup of tea when he has time. See you soon, Mira. Okay, let's go talk to Foreman Olaf again. Oh, I didn't look at the saddle at all. Let's have a look. <laughs> so excited about that, I completely forgot it. Oh, it's blue. It's got stars on it. That's cool. Okay. And that about does it. My work here is done. I'll stay on Jorvik for a while just to make sure everything is running smoothly. I think I'll take a ride up and check out the nice view when I find some free time. Thank you again, Mera. Remember, you can ride the corner lift now instead of using that dangerous road. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's a bit oh, far away from everything, so that's helping a lot. Miss Morse wondered when, where you had gotten to. She wanted to talk to you. She and Bengt are by the construction site at Northlink. Okay. I get a shirt from that. Yes. Excuse me, coming true. Hello, Miss Morse. We just wanted to thank you again, Mira. We have started to plan our wedding, and of course we would like you to be there as a guest of honor. We've been thinking we will move in together in Fergro and start a family. If we have a daughter someday, we are going to name her Mira. Oh, that's sweet. Goodbye and thank you for everything. Here is a sweater we designed together. We would like you to have it as a memory of what you did for us. Oh, I think I remember that without any shirts, but... That's nice of you. Let's have a look. See. Oh, that's so cool. It's a flaming guitar. Oh, I'm I'm wearing that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, while we're um while we're in the area, we might as well take this quest from Mario. I think it was about the holes in Steve's field. Uh, I'm not sure. 
I have time for you now. So Steve thought yeah, that you could use the telescope to see who is digging the holes on his field. Yeah, I knew it. Um, that's completely nuts, but I do want to help you. I'm very busy watching the sky as I've received some reports about mysterious light phenomena, but I haven't seen any yet. I have been so busy with this that I haven't had time to eat. Tell you what, if you can ride down to Elizabeth in Valedale and get some cupcakes for me, I can let you borrow the telescope while I'm eating. Ooh, I can do that. Can I have a cupcake too? I'd love one. Okay, let's get some cupcakes. Okay, hello Elizabeth, do you have cupcakes for me? Hi Mira, nice to see you again. I heard that Alex will be back soon. We'll need some more help then. Keep working on your amazing competition results and to do more work here in Silvergrade. Oh, you're here to get some cupcakes for Mario? Haha, <laughs> he is so obsessed with the stars that he forgets to eat. Mm, this one. Please take these cupcakes to Mario at the observatory. See you again soon. When Alex is back, we have a lot to do. I hope she will be back soon, because I like the uh, Soul Rider quests. Okay, let's go back. Oh, how many cupcakes do I have? Two. Okay, I can't eat one, because he'll know that I stole one. Okay. I've got your cupcakes, Mario. Um... Amazing, you're an angel. Yum yum. Do I get to look through the telescope? You can borrow the telescope while I'm eating. I have aimed it for you, so it's ready to use. I hope you can find out who or what is digging up Steve's field. I hope so too. Let's do this. Mm, I can't see anything. <laughs> what is that? It's like a bunny mixed with a uh, squirrel or something. That was weird. A, a bunny squirrel. Already done? What did you see? Oh, chipmunks. No, that was not a chipmunk. <laughs> it won't be easy getting rid of them. I've heard they're persistent rascals. They dig like bulldozers and have destroyed a lot of archaeological sites for me during the years. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You have to go back to Steve and tell him that you have identified the diggers. I'll keep looking for anything inexplicable in the sky. Say hello to Steve from me and good luck with the chipmunks. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need that if they really are that bad. Okay, let's go back to Steve. Steve, I've got... I know what's sticking in your uh, field there. Doom and gloom. Chipmunks. First mice and now chipmunks sticking up my fields and posing a threat to both harvest, humans and horses. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that. They're very clever little creatures and very shy as you noticed. You had to use a telescope to see them. The vet in Silverglade Village may have some good advice. I don't want to hurt them, they're so cute, but I have to get rid of them. Ride to the vet and ask for advice. Here we go. Red. Hello, Mera. I'd love to help you, but I can't right now. I have to go and help a horse with hay fever. But if you come back tomorrow, I'll be able to help you. Okay, I'll come back later. Okay, let's help. I think, I hope this is the last part of the uh, Marley's jumping track quest. Let's see. Hi Mira, do you know what I realized? I forgot to order goods for the store. There will be a lot of customers now when the new track is open so that items I have left will be sold in a minute. I'll order them right away. Talk to me again when I'm done. You done now? That went fast, huh? I've ordered clothes from Whaledale and horse gear from Fergro. The items are ordered but not delivered and I don't want to wait one more day for the postman to deliver it. And that's why I need you. Ooh, okay. Okay. 
Ride to Valedale and retrieve a box of clothes I've ordered. It'll be outside the clothing store in Valedale, ready to be picked up. Thanks for helping me, Mira. You're a real friend. Take the opportunity to take the opportunity to shop in Valedale and enter the competition by the Valedale Lake when you're in the neighborhood. I might just do that. Okay, horses. When it comes to horse gear, Fergro is the place. Their craft is really something special. Ride to Fergro and pick up the package I've ordered, okay? Great, Mira. I knew I could count on you. You can take the opportunity to raise and shop in Fergro if you want to. It's not that urgent. Okay, I'll come back with your stuff. Okay, so... um. Ah, there's the uh, clothes. Here we go, and now off to Fergro to get the gear. Whereabouts is the... Um... Ah, here we go. Boxes. There we go. Okay, I'm back to Marley. Okay, I've got your goods, Marley. I think you can open now, hopefully. Super fantastic. Soon we'll be ready to open for real. Fantastic. I have more than enough ho horse gear in my shop now. Oh, we got a clock again. Okay, okay. We'll come back next week. Finish that. I'm hoping that Elizabeth can help us figure out the treasure hunt, what the druid monument is about. Let's see if she knows anything about it. Now, I've been to look at the runestone you asked me about. Fascinating, really, Mira. The runes tell the story of an ancient ritual that will open the mountain, whatever that means. Mississippi Jones must have figured out the ritual and hidden his treasure there. The good news is we druids learned that ritual in preschool, so I know exactly how to open it. To open the mountain, you'll need to collect four different stones. They will be used in the ritual later, but first we need to find the stones. The first stone is red volcanic rock and you'll find it in the mountain at the end of Everwind Fields. You need to find a way deep into the mountain to get that stone. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure you will figure out a way to do it. Maybe you can ask someone there to help you? Um. Should I ask the guys at Northlink? I think they should know, right? I think so. Let's see. Let's go ask Bengt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, I can talk to you. Red Volcanic Rock. Red Volcanic Rock? I have millions of Red Volcanic Rocks. Take your pick. When we blasted out the tunnel, we filled truck after truck with them. They are behind the big cliff there. Oh, thank you! I'm guessing behind there. Hopefully. I don't want to have to search all over the place for them. <laughs> Down here? Somewhere? Please be here. Ah, I see sparkles, yes. I just needed one. Okay, back to Elizabeth. I've got the red rock. Good, Mira. The red volcanic rock will be perfect. Oh, three more. The next rock you need is kind of earth stone. You can usually find this kind of stone in freshly dug ground. Around the winery, there should be lots of them. It shouldn't be hard to get one. Speak with someone at the winery. Okay. Then we have moss stone. The moss stone you need is rare, but we used to be able to find them by the Silver Song River Beach. Look there. It might take a while, but I'm sure you will find one. Okay. And star stone. Star stone you can find high up in the mountains around here. It is hard to ride up there, but wait, I have an idea. Look around the rocky outcrops by the road on the way to Valdale Lake. When they were building the road, I'm sure they knocked down some star stones and they should still be there. Okay. I think I'm gonna start 
with the uh, star stone and then the moss stone and then go to winery because those are pretty close here hopefully oh oh I found one I found one yes this one okay then the uh, the one near the river Okay, I think I'm gonna search on this side of the river first and then go on that side if I can't find it here. But seeing as I'm on this side of the river, I'll start with this one. Let's see. Oh, there it is! I can see it. Come here. Okay, and now to the winery. Okay, who do I talk to here? Ah, Judy. Earthstone? We have more than we want all over the winery. The Baroness thinks they are ugly, so we have cleared away all that we could find. Where can you find an earthstone? Hmm, we've thrown away all we could find. Maybe if you look at the edge of the fields around the winery. Good luck. Okay, I think on the other side of the bridge, probably, that's sort of out of the way, so the Baroness might not know that there are stones there. Let's have a look. Let's see. Anything down here? Oh, I see sparkles. I think, yes. Now, do I have to go back? to I don't know let's let's have a look do I need to talk to Judy again nope don't need to talk to Judy okay let's go back to Veldale okay I've got all the stones was it hard to find a moss stone? Well done. No, it wasn't actually. Well done. I wasn't sure you would be able to find a star stone, but we can always count on you, Mira. Have they thrown away all the earth stones? Lucky there was at least one left. Well done. Okay. Now that you have all the different stones, it is time to solve the riddle of the rune stone. I'm sure you understand by now that this is a puzzle. I'm not going to explain how it is done, look at this as a test. Instead, I'm going to tell you the meaning of the runes and see if you can figure it out for yourself. So now you will be able to read what is written on the rune stones. Right over there and now and good luck. Okay, that wasn't helpful at all, but let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, riddle. Tell me what I must do. You're back at the rune stone. Now we'll see what it says. Yes. Place the stones in order from inside to out after color from the planet's core and outwards. Okay, so I'm guessing... Not sure which one I should start with. Which... Whoa, sorry. Uh, so, from out, inside out. So I need to put the most inside one first. Okay, that's the red one. And... Hold on, which way is the... going? Whoops. Okay, that's the most out in one, so we go for this one next. What color are you? The earth one. And then I think this one is next. The green one. And this one is last because it's the furthest away from the center. Okay, did something happen? Oh, 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 look at that! 
I did it! The stones are gone. Yes, they are. Whoa, where the stone was, now there is a chest instead. Inside it you find a bunch of silver coins, an old statue, and a gorgeous hat. It is time to return to Fort Pinta and tell James what you found. Yes! Oh, he's gonna be happy. Let's go, honey. James! Good news! I found the treasure! Haha, <laughs> Mera, you did it! Now we can have a look. A bunch of silver coins, an ugly statue, an old moldy hat. I can trust you and you can absolutely trust me. Can I, James? Can I really? You get the ugly statue and hat and I'll take the silver coins. That seems more than fair. You get two things, I only get one. I know, you don't need to say anything. I am too generous for my own good sometimes. Have a great day, see you later. Are you still here? I've got a bunch of important things to do right now, but maybe you should ride over to the councilman in Fer Fergro and share your share of the treasure with him, as we agreed before. Here, take a silver coin as a souvenir. You don't need to thank me. See you. Ooh, I get a hat. Yes, let's go to Fergro. And get a hat for me. Hello, Mr. Franklin. So you found the treasure. Fantastic. What's that? James took all the silver coins. Let's see that coin you have. Mm, <laughs> this is a ten pence worth about half a shilling. I doubt that James has even earned back what he paid for his piece of the map on those. But you got an amazing adventure, am I right? Yes, you're correct. That was so much fun. Wait a minute. That statue. Let me have a closer look at it. Wow. You know what you have found? An ancient statue made by the old horse tribes here on Jorvik. This is a priceless cultural artifact. This belongs to all the people of Jorvik, so it needs to be displayed so everyone can see it. As an archaeological find, I need to take this from you right now. But you should get a reward for finding it. I will see that the butler and Mrs. Holdsworth get their share of the reward, but you definitely deserve your share. You have done Jorvik a great service, Mira. Thank you. You should keep that fantastic hat. It looks great on you, I have to say. Oh, yes, I'm keeping the hat. Let's have a look. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love the hat. Okay, that's all for this week. I have to go water honey. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this was fun. I finished the treasure hunt finally and I finished the gondola lift. And I think I'm so close to finishing Molly's quest as well. I think I'll do that next week. And then something else. But yeah, I'm so happy I've done that. And I hope this recording turned alright. Despite all the lag and stuff. Fingers crossed. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.